Earthlings, what's up? It's a Shaman S K Y Z O O. There's nine two crew. This is Sasha and Mackie. Yo, this is K Mayfield, Mania Music Group. What's good, people? This is your man for a nice live and direct. Nairobi from the Trisol Class. I am Eternia from my mother's womb. This is Dead End Hip Hop. Dead End Hip Hop. Dead End Hip Hop. Dead End Hip Hop. Rockin' with Dead End Hip Hop. 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 All right, so on, on May 22nd, David Banner is dropping a free album. And it, he's doing it in a way in, in which he thinks he can change the landscape of hip hop, particularly probably from a business and maybe even from a marketing perspective. But basically what he's doing is, is, is he's taking this album, he has a, a, a lot of high profile collabs on it, ASAP like Rocky, Chris Brown, Lil Wayne. Um, I think Crit is on the joint and um, Tank and he's dropping this album for free and the only thing he is asking from his fans is a one dollar donation and, 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 and that's it and and part of the part of what he what he's trying to do is he's trying to say he's trying to retain or gain back control of control of the business side of hip hop and show that artists themselves do not necessarily need the corporate machine or the label machine behind them in order to be successful. It will show that, you know, hip hop fans do ultimately care about hip hop, the music, the culture, et cetera, all those I mean, cliches or whatever you want to throw out there. And the, and the question is, do we all think this is a, will be a success? Do you think he can do it? And if he does to see what happens, uh, <laughs> one dollar doing it. One dollar. He's asking for one buck. I, I, th I, I, think it's, I think it's a good thing. You know what I'm saying? I think it's, a, I think it's always a good thing when you take control, you know, of what you want and take control of your business and how you expect your model to work and your business plan to work. You know, I think taking the power out of the corporate hands in that aspect is, is, is a damn good thing for the artists. You know, because now you don't have somebody controlling you, telling you what to, you know, what to rap about, how to rap about it, how to market it, you know what I'm saying, this, that, and the third. Um, so I think in that aspect, it's, it's, it's great for hip-hop. I think it's great for oh. hip-hop. Will he be successful? They, I think David Banner's big enough to do that. But now I, I think, you know, you, you start thinking about the little guys, because David Banner's not a little guy. Like you said, he has a lot of high-profile features on there. You know what I'm saying? That it'll basically sell itself. You know, but but what happens to, to, to the to the smaller artists? You know what I'm saying? Like, what if David Banner changes it forever and now it's like just that way or no way? How does you know? I think the smaller artists they're affected big time. I, I think in a bad way though. I think that this is a great idea. It's 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 a great way to cut out the middleman, all that good shit. I I commend David Banner for what he's trying to do. I've always been more of a fan of him as a person. Than I am yeah. as as, yeah. as of his music, you know. I think he he he's got, he gets called the Sean Penn of hip hop. He's like that one dude that actually gives a fuck. But um, as far as this idea goes, the reason I think that it could be bad for certain other groups is the simple fact that David Banner's already huge. He has the money to where he can put up, you know, the cost to get certain producers. He can pay Lil Wayne. He can pay ASAP Rocky. He can pay Big Crit. Not everybody can do that. So yeah, this works out great for him because he has the whatever it costs, you know, five hundred thousand dollars to get all this shit going. You know, your smaller artists don't have that money to put up to get these great producers. So I don't see how this could really change hip hop that much. Certain artists can't do this, and it would be great. It's not gonna change the world, you know, because not everybody can. Not everybody can 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 work on this model. Yeah, because you yeah. have to have the money already. Mm -hmm. Who already has the money like that to, to front? And the producers aren't going to be like, well, I trust that you'll get all these donations, donations right. so therefore I'm going to give you these beats. No fucking way. Wayne's not going to throw you a free verse. Exactly. You know? Because you're, you're basically talking about getting money on the back end. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Yeah. And, that, and that's hard to do in any type of business oh. if you don't have initial capital. You know what I'm saying? And, and even on, like, on Wiz's Taylor Alderdice, when um, he had the... the um, 
uh, the, the interviews in between the songs and stuff. And dude was like, uh, he he asked something. He's like, I don't know how to tell you this, but we don't have shit. And and a lot of artists don't have shit when they start. So how do you even get to that level? You can't you can't do it when you're starting out. For David Banner is great. For mainstream artists is great if that's the model they want to adapt. But I don't think that that's gonna help out everybody. Independent artists, you think that's like even for mainstream artists, I don't think it's gonna it's gonna work for all of them. I yeah, think not all of them. I think they'll be nah. too afraid to try something like that. Even if even if David Banner experiences great success with this, I think I think they I think it'll be a little bit risky for them um, to try that. But but I guess what I'm wondering is. What's the difference between this and dropping a free mixtape? Because essentially, it's essentially the same thing, but all he's asking for in return is just a dollar. But didn't he say he was going to do some, like, some movies or something yeah, like that, too? Money to front a uh, yeah, hip-hop movie. Or not, I, I, I think the back can say hip-hop movie. He just said that he wanted to make a movie because he doesn't like the way that black people are portrayed in Hollywood. So that's what I'm saying. David Banner... As a person, I'm 100% behind because he has fucking great ideas, man. I wish people would listen smart. to him. He's so fucking smart. I mean, you know, but it's just some of these ideas only work for certain people. And, I, and David Banner never said this was going to work for everybody. He didn't. Right. Yeah. He didn't. So I'm, I'm not putting words in his mouth. You know, I just, you know, I'm just saying that I don't see this as being this crazy, big, revolutionary thing for everyone. You don't think it's going to change nothing, like, really yeah. change anything? It, not it, for it, everybody. It, but the thing is, the thing is this, though. It can't really change everything because you can't rely on donations because people are fucking cheap. And we, we, we used to pay for albums. We got sick of paying for albums. Now we either buy singles or we download. So, yeah, his fans might do it the first time. They might do it the second time. They may even do it the third time. But the idea is going to run out. The, 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 the the newness of this is gonna fade, and people will stop doing it eventually. But one dollar, though, bro, are you surprised? I, I, no, 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 and, and, and that's part of the thing. I think you will have people you will. <laughs> that will be like, man, if you're gonna drop a, why well, I gotta give you a buck? That exactly. will be cheap, or just don't want to fucking do it. Yep. But at the same time, it, it, it is just one dollar, and and why would you not want to do this if if he was if he was selling it for? If he was selling the album, people would pay 10, 15 bucks for it. So, if they have it, so why not? Why not? Why not give up a buck? Um, I can't. I can't talk for everybody, but I know for me personally, if there, if, if one of my favorite artists put out mixtape, like like Big Crit, whatever Big Crit puts out in terms of his album, however much it costs. I'm gonna go buy. I'm gonna support it because he's giving me quality music. David Banner, on the other hand, I'm not that big of a fan. I don't know his projects that he's put out, but if he puts out quality work, quality work, quality work, and then asks for a dollar donation, I'm apt to give that to him. You know what I'm saying? I I, I don't feel like you could just be like, oh well, my album's a dollar, and because it's a dollar, you should go buy it. Nah, fuck that. You know what I'm saying? Like to me, it's, it's, it's always about the work you put in. You know, and I'm not. And David Banner is a great producer, great for hip hop and everything. You know what I'm saying? I'm just not that big of a fan. But for the artist that I am, you know, put out that work, and then the next, and then make me want to buy your album. Like Big Crit doesn't matter if he comes out and he says this shit's twenty dollars. I'm gonna go buy it, nigga. You gave me three albums for free. You know what I'm saying? So I, just putting it out there and making the. I don't want to say that's this is the basis of it but you know coming out there and just saying oh buy the album because it's a dollar man fuck that you got to put in work this is hip-hop at the end of the day you got to put out quality david that matter he's not signed to a label no nah. no okay he's, he's doing this to say fuck you major labels yep. we don't have to depend on you exactly but again it seems like he's i don't know if he's forgetting the fact that he's already established yeah. but that that part is being that's left out of these conversations that not everyone can do that's not only that <laughs> This is a great idea again, but at the same time, what if it turns into a situation where you have somebody that decides they're going to go over a bunch of, I don't know, a bunch of LP beats or Clam Casino beats, and they release the mixtape for free, but then they take donations. That's almost the same thing as you're making money off this dude's shit, but you're not paying him. Like, you see what I'm saying? Like I don't, I don't want, and I don't want to. It can create some kind of controversy. It can create mean, a problem yeah. because it's a great way to get around copyright rules, yeah. from what I can tell. Now I'm not, I'm not a lawyer, you know. I'm a dumbass artist that, that you know, whatever. I don't know shit like that. But from the way I'm looking at it, it seems like that's a, a great way to skirt around, you know, copyright laws. 
you're releasing it for free, but you're taking donations. So you have to think about that. Like, is that a great way for like scummy assholes oh, okay. to Dude. fuck over producers? Yeah. Like, you know what? Oh, you released this hot ass Swizz beat? Well, shit, I can have that on my mixtape and I can get paid for it now because I can call it a donation. Same way prostitutes get around getting paid for, for fucking. It's a donation. You see what I'm saying? So I can fuck you. You can pay me for fucking you. But at the same time, all I'm saying is, can you give me a donation? I'll, you're not necessarily paying me for fucking you. I'm fucking you for free. And we're not a, give me a donation. Right. Well, he did also say that the SS, there, some of the SS funds will go to some of the charities of his choice, of course. Okay. So um, you have to prove what's going where. Yeah. Yeah. So there's just a whole bunch of legal loopholes that he's going to have to work out. I, I don't know, man. I mean, it's a great idea for him, but at the same time, smaller artists. Smaller artists like and a yeah. Donation. Like a Carter. Yeah, he can can't, do something like he can't that? make it no, through that. No. And someone like, someone like a Necro, yeah. if this idea was popularized, and let's say Esquire was a dick and he wasn't friends with these dudes, let's say if Esquire was a dick, he could have got paid crazy money. Think about how, how many people love that mixtape. He could have gotten donations off that just because it had L beats and it had Necro beats on it. He could have got crazy money for that shit. And Necro and L wouldn't have seen a penny from it unless he wanted to be honest and float them some money. Yo, donations is going to be the new hustle. That's what it sounds that, like. That, that, and, and, and people, they're going to get their ways around it. They're going to try to, you know, get their money. And, and, and you know what? At the end of the day, you know... Hip hop was based on hustling, and, and, and we're well not based on hustling, but you know, people they put in that work and, 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 and that time and that effort, and now you know it's almost like some, somebody's gonna exploit what David Banner's doing. Somebody's gonna exploit that shit. Oh, yeah, they're gonna exploit that. What? We, that's just like what we just said. Yeah, it's easy to exploit that. You know, Donation is the new hustle. I'm everyone's telling you. Look, everyone looks at situations. It doesn't matter if it's a good or a bad one. Everybody looks at situations and sees how can I fucking profit yep. off this. So just like I said, if I want to be a dick and I was a decent rapper, I could rap over a gang of dudes beats, mm -hmm. release that shit for free, and then be like, look, all I want, all I want is donations because I'm gonna use this money to fund my album that I'm doing later on. Or I'm gonna use this money to fund this documentary that I wanna make about hip hop. So see time. But you're not paying the producers. But I'm not paying the producers. Yo, but but do you think do you think it makes it a difference if you're rapping over already made beats or original yes. beats? That's why, that's why they have to be on mixtapes. You cannot put somebody else's beat on an album because therefore you are profiting off of their work. Their work that you you pay get sued. That's copyright infringement. I don't, you know, I, I, yeah, I mean, you all make great points, but I think if, if, if I'm an artist, small or, or large, and I see what David Banner is doing, and I know that now most of my revenue may come from merch and may come from doing shows, and then, you know, I'm taking that money, paying producers or maybe rapping over somebody's beats, and then I'm dropping out these free mix tapes. If I'm if I'm an artist and this is that's my business model, and I take a look at see what David Banner is doing, I would want to adapt to that. I would want to adopt that formula. Because I'm already giving you a project but, but for free. You can't. Yeah, you don't you have don't the have same the platform. You don't have you don't have the capital to do that. You don't have the David name. Banner, David Banner, do that. You don't yeah, have the celebrity. Right. You don't have the fame. You don't have the credentials. But I'm already you dropping free mistakes. I'm yeah, already giving you free think, think about how David Banner has been dollar. marketing this. Think about how he's been marketing it. Every single interview I've seen, he says, man, I'm giving you 20 tracks. It's got Wayne on it. It's got Sap Rocky on it. It's <laughs> yeah. got Crit on it. He's marketing it yep. that way because he's saying, look, you're getting a gang of hot tracks. A, a small artist can't do that. He can't say, yo, it's got... You know, I got MC boy. MC basketball. Man. I got this. DJ I got that. DJ Greenleaf. Yep, just you know what I'm saying? Dudes you ain't never, never heard, heard of. of for it, yeah. But I want you I to mean, give me a donation that. off of this, think even though it's dudes you never fucking heard of in your life. You can't do that. Cause who's gonna donate? Hip hop is not. Hip hop is cheap, dude. They're barely gonna donate to David Banner right now. Man, I th you know what? Honestly, I think David Banner is actually gonna get his two million. I think he's gonna get way more than two million. Uh, so I think he's going to be successful, but I don't think it can be successful for everybody in hip-hop. I honestly believe that it's it, this idea, this business model for hip-hop is only going to be geared toward people that already have an established fan base. You know what I'm saying? That, that are established artists already. I don't think you can come into the game trying to do this and be successful. I just... 
just it doesn't comprehend it doesn't make sense in my brain it just i can't see it happening if it does i'm wrong but hey you know we'll wait till that day yeah i think it's a great idea about david banner and I, I i think i like the fact that he's taking the concept of giving away free music now in today's climate and and, and expounding upon it and just a step further um you know i i think he stands a great chance of achieving his goal because you know I, there are people that are giving him way more than than a dollar. He's he's on record as saying somebody, I think in the NFL is giving him a grand. So you know I think he's gonna re definitely receive more than a buck. I'm curious to see what happens. I'm curious to see what happens with hip hop from this using this particular business model if it's adapted or not.